Welcome back friends, welcome to another video series from Shomu's Biology and in this video series we are looking at the best colleges in India in life sciences including microbiology, zoology, biotechnology, botany and physiology colleges in India. Before beginning let me tell you the marking schemes that we use to select the best colleges. We took two different uh, criteria together. One criteria is the affiliation that is the NAC grading system NAAC NAC's grading system of A, A plus, B, B plus and all this system is taken for count. Along with that we also checked the public reviews particularly College Dunia, Shiksha.com, KDS360 as well as Facebook. So we took examples from every single of these public domains and in these domains all the reviews and the number of reviews we read them and we put them together and then we combined the NAC score along with that public review and then it popped up the result and we are going to share those results. So we are independent of telling the best colleges in India. So if you want to know that stay tuned and watch the video. Let's begin to talk about the best botany colleges in India for graduation as well as in post graduation and remember this ranking is not sequentially arranged so it's not like 1 to 10 and things like that but we are going to arrange every best colleges as per our rule. So starting with St. Xavier's College Ahmedabad, NAC affiliated A, College Dunia 4 out of 5, Caris 360 4.2 out of 5 and Siksha.com 4.1 out of 5. Rankings are pretty decent. Now the second one is St. Francis College Hyderabad, College Dunya 4.5, Facebook 4.5, Siksha 4.6, so above 4.5 in these three separate reviews with a good NAC score of A, that gives us a good ranking. Third one is the Maharani Lakshmi Ammani College for Women, Bangalore, College Dunya 4 out of 5, Siksha 4 out of 5, it's a good college but for women only. Then the Gargi College, University of Delhi, a NAC accredited A, College Dunya score 4.5. 5 out of 5, Carriers 360, 4.1 out of 5 with a pretty decent score in every single parameters of a college. Then comes St. Teresa's College, STC Coaching, the college dunia score of 3.5 out of 5. This bio, like this department of botany is pretty strong in this particular college. St. Xavier's College, Rachi, NAC accredited A, college dunia score 4.5. Uh, 4 out of 5, KDS 360, 4.3 out of 5, Siksha 4 out of 5 giving a very good score and particularly the botany department is shining at this St. Xavier's College for Rachi. Now the best botany colleges in India for MSc will be listed here. The list summary is given. Let's talk about it. For the Masters Botany Colleges in India, best botany colleges, Miranda House, Delhi University, NAC accredited, A+. There are very few in this list of A+, for the life science subjects, but Miranda House is one of such colleges. College Dunia 4.5 out of 5, Careers 360 ranking 4.4 out of 5, that's a pretty impressive. Then Hindu College, Delhi University, NAC A or A+, plus, it varies and College Dunia 4.5 out of 5, Carriers 360 4.2 out of 5, very good department of biological science. Then Kiroimal College, Delhi University, College Dunia 4 out of 5, Facebook 4.5 out of 5. Next comes Hansraj College, New Delhi, that is again NAC A+, plus, which is again rare of that and College Dunia 4 out of 5, Carriers 360 4.1 out of 5. It's a fantastic college to stay in and complete your masters. Then comes Christ University Bangalore, NAC accredited A, Careers 360 score 4, College Dunia 4.5, Facebook 4.5. This is a deemed university, but it's a very, very good one. Next comes St. Xavier's College Mumbai, as per the architectural wonder, along with side the Department of Botany for Masters is fantastic. College Dunia score of 4.5, Facebook of 4.5 out of 5, and NAC accredited A. So I hope I summarize the best colleges in life sciences in India in all these different fields. And probably you may like the video, may dislike the video. Like uh, you may think like some other college may be in the list and must be included in the list. If you know of any of these colleges which must be included in the list, you should put that in the comment. You, you can discuss it uh, in the comments so that other people can also know about this information. I, I al always check this information from the internet and then gathered it. So based on that, I may miss something. So uh, it, it will be definitely beneficial for the other students uh, who are aspiring to join the graduation and post-graduation 
graduation is going to help them so if you like the video definitely hit the like button if you dislike the video hit the dislike button and if you want uh, any other college to be included in the list you should put that in the comment and we are going to discuss about that in the comment section so thank you for watching this lecture see you in the next lecture bye